in her home. This all happened in the area of Torrey Pines and Smoke Ranch earlier on this afternoon. Eight News Now reporter Darlene Melendez spoke with police and tells us what happened. Well, Brian and Denise, there's no other way to describe this other than a senseless act of violence. That woman was killed right in front of her husband. And tonight, people who live in this neighborhood are demanding justice for their neighbor and their friend. A couple who lived on Morley Avenue was just getting back home from lunch Wednesday. Metro says that's when they saw an unfamiliar car parked in their driveway. The woman got out of the car while her husband, confined to a wheelchair, remained inside. Investigators say at that moment, two men exited the home and shot the woman several times. Two, two loud ones. Loud, I mean, boom. Emma Valdez lives a few homes down. She didn't see the suspects, but she saw the aftermath. A grieving husband, distraught after his wife was shot to death just a few feet away from him. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad because he depended on her too, and you know, they, they love each other very much. Gert Casalo also knew the woman she identified as Sherry, someone she describes as kind and selfless. She says Sherry will be missed at their church. I'm heartbroken. We lost a good friend. I can't, I, there's nothing else I can say. As of now, the investigation is very much underway. Metro has only stated that the suspects are two black men still at large. It's an absolutely disturbing uh, call that, uh, and completely senseless. Our detectives are going to work this around the clock until we get these people into custody. Investigators believe that the two men were burglarizing the couple's home. It's unclear if any material items were taken, but the most precious item of all, a life, was. This was a living soul, and I'm speaking for for her because she no longer has a voice. You took that voice away from her and from her children and her family. And investigators didn't release a car description, but neighbors tell me they believe that those two suspects were in a white sedan. And officers say they will be exhausting all of their resources to find those two suspects. Anyone with any information is urged to contact police. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.